And so in this part of the experiment, our goal is to determine the freezing point of our pure solvent, T-butanol. And so we're going to be monitoring, of course, the temperature over, of course, a three-minute period. Um, so please make sure that you go back and look at the, your data sheets. Temperature? 20, 1.5. Temperature? 21. Temperature? 21. Twenty point five or six. Temperature? Twenty point six. Temperature? Twenty point five. Temperature? Twenty point five. Nineteen point six. Temperature nineteen point five. Temperature nineteen point three. Temperature. Nineteen. Temperature. Nineteen. Temperature. Say eighteen point nine. Eighteen point nine. Temperature eighteen point. Temperature eighteen point seven.
temperature, 18.5. Temperature, 18.5, uh, maybe 18.3. Temperature, 18.2. Temperature, 18.2. Temperature, 18.1. Temperature, 18.1. Thank you. The goal of this experiment is for us to determine, of course, the, um, the KF value, of course, and for our um, sample, which is of course our, 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 our solvent, of course, is T butanol. And what we're going to be doing, of course, is adding 0.2 grams, of course, of our um, solute. So, in this case, of course, the solute, of course, is water. The addition, of course, of the solute should hopefully, of course, will lower right the freezing point um, of our pure solvent. And so, please keep in mind, of course, that during this experiment, and you should also check, of course, um, in the data that I've sent you so that you can plot a graph, of course, of the freezing point um, versus, of course, um, the temperature. Please also note that here you do know the mass, of course, of H2O. And so from the mass of water, you should be able to calculate the moles of water, which is the moles of your solute. Um, and then you can solve, of course, right, um, for the molality, therefore, and Kf.